So here we have the review of the BMW F750 GS. Now the GS family is all about adventure and this bike is no different. Now I've ridden the 1200, the 1250, the 850, the 800, my first time on the 750 and I have to say I'm really, really impressed. Now why am I impressed? It's because it's light, agile and a really smooth power delivery. Now the engine on the 750 model is in fact an 850. It's a bit confusing I know but let me explain. When the old 700 and 800 models were replaced with the new 850 and 750 models, BMW designed and built just one engine, the 850cc. And then they put different models and packages together, based around that one engine platform. In fact, it's no different to what they did with the old 800 and 700 models, when they also used the 800cc engine for both of those. So really, this is nothing new. It's just strange when you read the specs, but it's not when you ride the bikes. So for the 750, by way of different mapping, fueling and exhaust, the 850 engine has been somewhat restricted and the power band softened and the horsepower reduced, generally making the engine less aggressive and making it perform more like a 750. To keep with the smaller engine feel, a lower seat height and lighter overall weight make the 750 model feel different from the taller and more powerful 850cc model. And the smooth power delivery is excellent in the off-road mode, in enduro mode. So you've got rain, road, dynamic and an enduro mode. All of those change the engine slightly different and then also the suspension because it's adjustable suspension here as well electronically. Now the trails that we've been riding over the last couple of days have been fairly mellow, not too intense, but the bike is really great off-road. I have to say I'm really impressed with it. Over the 850 it actually has a smaller front wheel but it's still a 19 and a 19 off-road is still a good size front wheel because usually the bigger the front wheel the easier it goes over obstacles off-road but the 19 it still feels really great now the front wheel like i said is only a 19 but the wheels are different they're cast now a cast wheel compared to a spoked wheel is that the spoked wheel is just stronger so it can take more abuse off-road plus if you were to kind of dink a rim off-road usually with a spoked wheel you can get that fixed with a cast not so simple but I found that the cast wheels worked well. I didn't notice much difference with uh, the way that the bike maneuvered. However, I'd like to see this bike with some spoked wheels because it is an adventure machine and it is very adventurous. So if you had the spoked wheels in there, it'd be a, definitely a plus. Also over the 850 compared to the 750, you've got a lower seat height. And for me, it just makes it easier to get on and off the motorcycle and certainly doing U-turns and difficult maneuvers when you've got both feet firmly planted on the ground, gives you more confidence and it's just easier to do. The agility of this machine is really impressive. Been really impressed with the bike off-road, goes around turns really, really well, goes over obstacles really well. The smooth power delivery in enduro mode is excellent. So I've been really impressed with the bike. Now both panniers are being absolutely jammed full. But the impressive thing about these panniers is they can also extend out to get a little extra room. The bad side about these is that they're side loading, which can also be a little bit more difficult to fill them up rather than a top loading case. Now it's only got telescopic front forks. It doesn't have upside down front forks. And I found that the suspension on this bike was particularly soft. When I rode it on the road, I felt that the bike was too soft for my liking. So that's something just to remember. But you know, this bike, the 750 is particularly aimed, I think, really from BMW's standpoint of more of an inexperienced rider, with it being smaller, I am really impressed with this machine. If I had to pick between the 750 and the 850, half the time I'm gonna be going for this bike, because like I said, off-road, it's really agile, it feels lighter, I could flick it around more, and really, at the end of the day, that just gives you more confidence. And if you're riding a motorcycle off-road, that's something that you definitely want. A few other little changes, it doesn't have any uh, protection here for the hand guards, even though it has a very impressive heated hand grips, it'd be nice to see some hand guards on this model. I'd like to see a, a strong sump plate as well. Uh, GS bikes are designed to go off-road as well as on-road, so there's a few little parts of this bike that I'd like to see to be a little stronger and aiming more for the adventure rider. There's a non-adjustable screen here, and to be honest with you, the screen hardly does anything. 
I don't really know why it's there. It does deflect a little bit of air, but I've been wearing an RIA XT4 with the peak and it was definitely buffeting my peak. If I was going to be riding this, I'd be looking to get a, a larger screen. And the fact that it's non-adjustable as well, uh, leaves me pondering of why BMW would do that because you know it's adjustable on some other bikes why would they not make an adjustable screen for this one engine power I really like its smooth power delivery it's instant in the different modes you can feel the engine uh, change and off-road it really really came into its own I've been riding with a female rider Steph Roche is quite small and when we were doing all of our U-turns day after day for the camera she had no problems doing it on this bike so when she jumped onto the 850 uh, it's taller quite a bit taller and then that became more awkward to do the U-turn so you know a few little things to think about there but you know having both feet fully planted on the floor a shorter seat height really makes this bike feel lighter more agile and just more maneuverable you've got fully abs you've got traction control you've got lots of nice little electronic aids here i've been taking a lot of that stuff off for off-road i don't like my traction control on i don't like my abs on but you know you can quite simply just with just one button uh, turn that off and you can also do that on the fly because sometimes you're on the road and you forget that you've got to try and turn some of this electronic stuff on and off and it can be a real pain in the butt if you have to bring your bike to a stop put it into neutral and then go through the modes time and time again with this bike you can do it on the fly i like that it's got a very clear display the dash is fantastic giving you all the information that you need outside air temperature through to your gas range right the way through to uh, you know your engine settings and the the modes that you pick so loads of information in a very very clear display it's designed for two riders i've had alex who's been my cameraman on this no problems having him on the back the bike handles well with a passenger this bike is designed for an adventure and having a pillion sometimes is part of that so this bike definitely suits a rider and a passenger it really comes into its own there so really nice the fact that this bike is really adaptable for either a solo rider or for carrying a passenger so the ergonomics on this bike are really comfortable as well the seating position the handlebar position really comfortable also when you go off-road standing up and maneuvering the bike everything felt good so really a yeah, comfortable machine to ride brakes as well Good stopping power, good feel back through the lever, same with the rear brake. I'd like to see an adjustable brake pedal so that when you're standing up you can still use the rear brake effectively because your foot is in a different position when you're sat down and when you're stood up and this bike only has uh, one position for the rear brake. So again, with it being adventurous, I'd like to see an addition there. But overall, super impressed with the 750. I like the 850 but the 750 is easier to ride, it's more manoeuvrable, it's lighter and to be honest with you the power difference isn't huge. It's a great middleweight, it ticks so many boxes and for me I've really enjoyed the ride, it definitely gets a thumbs up. Wheels, oh, excuse me, second. So you, if we can hear it, the camera can hear it, Alex. Nice, comfortable riding position, the ergonomics. 